weather this year has been historic. We've never seen in the more than 100 year hydrologic record this amount of water fall in the form of rain. A lot of rain, up to 600 times the normal amount. That, combined with record snowpack, is causing historic flooding along the Missouri River, stretching from Montana to Kansas. This water is affecting the lives of the people in the Missouri Basin. Crops are being destroyed, farms are being flooded, homes are being flooded, people are being displaced. My farm raises corn and soybeans. Flooding is a great emotional and financial burden to a uh, farming family and also anyone that, that lives in the floodplain is affected by flooding. Um, many times you try to do budgets and forecast financially how you're gonna, how you're gonna be and the flood just um, kicks those budgets out the window and you're back to what I would call survival mode. Just try to make it for another year. It's heart-wrenching to see the impacts of this flood. The Corps of Engineers is helping to minimize damages and help those communities affected by this flood. Well, my office regulates the six dams on the main stem of the Missouri River. Uh, the dams were authorized for a variety of purposes uh, by Congress, and flood control is a very important uh, purpose. The Corps has dispatched teams of experts to construct temporary levees, issued millions of sandbags, and many pumps to support local flood fight efforts. Unfortunately, it's going to last through the summer and perhaps into the fall as we, as we deal with uh, the unpredictability of the weather, of the timing of the snow melt, and, and other uh, factors as, as we go forth here. So doing the best we can with the information that we have to manage it as prudently as we can. I hope to continue farming and, and I hope there's uh, a future you know, in farming for my family. Mary Cochran, Council Bluffs, Iowa.